Okay, this will be for using JASP to do an analysis of variance, one way ANOVA. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at uh, the calories. And then the other variable I'm going to use is I'm going to know if the calories are different, have an average difference depending on shelf placement. And even though I guess in the Excel file I had somehow the calories is looking like a text data, it's this is going to be just as flexible enough to realize that this is a quantitative variable. So I'll just select ANOVA. We're just doing the basic ANOVA here. And calories is going to be my dependent variable. And the shelf location is my fixed factor, my categorical variable. And you can see already we have the sums of squares, the degrees of freedom, mean square F test, and p value. It look, doesn't look like there is a difference there in calories per table. We can also get uh, other things that we can get here are post hoc tests. Just click shelf over there and now we have the two key uh, tests here and we can just look to see whether or not um, the p-value for the two key, two key is less than 05. Of course it won't be if there aren't any differences there. And Under additional options, we can, we can select descriptive statistics, and now that'll have the mean and standard deviation and sample size for each. And you can also add the estimate of effect size, which you can then compare to the um, table I gave you to look at effect sizes. And that's that.